Ryan, congratulations. That's a 3 0 win there against the bloke who's at 9 180s and 13 legs of darts. Oh, really? I didn't realise that. <laughs> I was trying to focus on my own performance there. I felt flat. I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing myself a bit of an injustice there, but just didn't feel that great. Um, sort of took my chances when I got on. Felt like my scoring wasn't there at all tonight, unlike the last game. Um, but yeah, I get to go home now and enjoy Christmas thinking I'll be back in the tournament. Well, yeah, I think you probably are doing yourself down. You say you're trying to focus on your own performance. Evidently, all the stuff that Jeffrey was chucking out, you just bounced off of you. didn't mm. pay attention. Yeah. yeah. When people are playing well, you've got to, you've got to ignore that because if you let that get to you, then you know you can sort of get yourself down. Um, but like I say, my scoring was not there at all tonight. And backstage, I was hitting 180 after 180. I was thinking, so like, I'm going to smash in a massive average. But, um, yeah, <laughs> you can do nothing but win. And, you know, um, I'll take that. To put your place in the post-Christmas action at the William Hill World Championship, beating a player like Jeffrey when you've just walked off and gone, I don't think i played that well and do it 3-0. Is that a little sign of where you are as a player nowadays? Um, maybe, yeah. I mean... Um, that's no disrespect to Jeffrey. I really like Jeffrey. He's a, you know, a proper nice guy. Um, massive respect to him. Um, considering I'm a lot older than him, he's massively more experienced than me. Um, and I seen, can't believe I looked at the odds as it came up on the TV tonight, and I was favourite. I was thinking, how am I favourite against Jeffrey as well? You know, he's a, a lot bigger name than I am. Um, but. <laughs> Managed to win. I mean, that 78 where it hit the flight and sort of snuck its way into tops was... I nearly threw up in my mouth. It was that disgusting, you know? <laughs> but um, <laughs> that's, the, that's maybe the sort of um, bit of luck that I've been missing in the last couple of months, you know? So, um, yeah, I'm over the moon, like I say, and looking forward to Christmas now. Going home and seeing my kids for the first time in a little while. Um, it's nice to go on the school run and pick them up when they've finished, you know, finished for school for the Christmas, but... I've missed that this year. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, getting up early in the morning now and just travelling home. You're Ryan Searle, the man who beat Michael Van Gerwen in a ranking final earlier this year. You're going to have to get used to the fact that you're going to be favourite for games, even in massive tournaments like the Wimmer World Championship, aren't you? Um, yeah, when you say it like that, it kind of seems surreal, really. You know, I'm, I'm just a massive darts fan. Um, I maybe don't give myself enough credit at times. Um, like tonight but I feel like if I play my game I could beat anyone you know you, you've seen that as, as much as anyone else you know you've seen me play darts more than most people most people just see me play darts on TV and sometimes that's not great you know <laughs> um, but yeah I mean on the tour I've been playing well you know in the last couple of majors I think I've played decent darts but just lacking that tiny bit of luck um, but yeah who, who knows where I can go from here do you think that mindset needs to change I mean when you played Gary here last year mm. and you, th you couldn't finish it off and you thought, well, maybe that's an experience or I didn't think that I was ready to beat him. Mm. Nathan Aspinall's talked about a similar kind of thing. It takes a little while before you start believing, yeah, I deserve to be smashing up the big guns and being favourite for things and winning massive time. Yeah, I think maybe perhaps I don't quite believe that uh, I am where I am, you know. Uh, coming from a tiny little village where I live where there's no real massive darts names around or anything like that and um but yeah, it's crazy you know I'm, I'm just i'm just living the dream of a professional art player and it's it's kind of unreal to me you know so um i'm looking forward to now in the new year hopefully gary gets his knee sorted out and we can sort out some practice sessions and uh look out then because i think that'll do us you know both the world of good Brilliant. Well done. Enjoy cheers mate and you mate all the best Ryan, just talking about what you were there about obviously the, the bubble life in the hotel and getting home. Over these long formats where you are here for a long time, is that what keeps not just you but any dark player going is the thought of going home and seeing your family? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, this week I bought my Xbox with me and been playing some Call of Duty. Uh, I'm probably like ranked in the top 10 in the world, you know, how much I've been playing the last couple of days because <laughs> there's just nothing else to do, you know, but... Uh, yeah, it, it's it's crazy, but it's it's so nice now being able to go home, just chill out. I maybe probably have just half hour throw on the board tomorrow, not nothing too much in my man cave, and um, yeah, just look look forward to my next game. You know, nothing to lose, and um, yeah, just bring it on. 
everything that's gone on in, in the UK, obviously, over the last 24 hours, is there any part of you that's worried about travelling home to travel back and testing again? Is he tempted to stay in the bubble? Was that never a consideration? Um, no, I'd never stay in the bubble. I've got to go home now and see my kids. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine missing Christmas with my kids. You know that. You know that'd be horrendous. Um, you know, it's, it's always a risk going home and perhaps, you know potentially picking up the virus. You, you know, because you never know. Um, but now I've got to go home now and see my kids for sure. And now you are coming back after Christmas. Is there a little tiny bit of you that now believes? Uh, I don't know. I think I am overly critical of myself, maybe too much, you know. Um, potentially that's not, you know, that's maybe not a bad way to be. Um, but I know I've got so much more in the tank, you know. I think my scoring tonight was off. I think my finishing was half decent. Um, I think I was lucky, really, that Jeffrey didn't, didn't really turn up overly massively tonight. Um, <laughs> when Dan says he hit nine one eighties, I I can believe that because yeah. I don't know, it just didn't feel it, just didn't really feel like that. I don't know. It's, it's just trying to focus so much on my own game and just and you know, just try and get over the line. Not just that, he averaged nearly ninety nine, and you've just beaten him three 0 Does that show you how far that you've come as well? Yeah, um, maybe. Um, but like I say, I feel like there's so much more in the tank. I think scoring wise, I think finishing was a lot better than the other night. Um, the other night I made really hard work of that. I think perhaps should have won that 3-1, maybe rushed it a little bit because the first round's always tough. You, you know, you really want to get through the first round. And um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to my next round now. Right, congratulations. I'm Cheers, mate. Christmas. Cheers, buddy. All the best, have a good Christmas. Ryan, you were here 12 months ago in a, in a very similar position to what you are now. Is there anything that you're going to do differently from what you did last year in the lead up to your third round again? Um, no, not really. I think last year um, I was still here. Um, I didn't go home for Christmas last year, if I remember rightly, which may be a good thing. Um, but I remember two years ago I went home and enjoyed my Christmas dinner that much more, knowing that I was coming back to play in the ch in the World Championship. So just do the same this year. Because going home and be able to see your kids and your mm. family, does it put it all in perspective, what you've achieved? Yeah, I th yeah that's the main thing. Um, my kids miss me massively while I'm away, especially obviously with the lockdown being home a lot more than perhaps I usually am with you know with how hectic the tour sometimes it sometimes is. And um, yeah, I mean, I got the potential to go far in this tournament. I think um, I haven't played anyone in my best yet, and you know if I can do that, you know who knows what I could uh, achieve. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Have a good Christmas. Cheers. Man.